before we start the video, let me remind you guys that we are doing a giveaway at 3,000 subscribers. We are going to give away a tap or a bam by Archetype Racing. Uh, if you don't know what those are, I'll put a couple of pictures up here and I'll link the videos for each one of those uh, somewhere at the end of it. I'll do that. Now, 3,000 subscribers. That's all we need. We are... Almost, what? almost 400 away, so yeah. a little over 400 away. Come on, people. <laughs> okay, uh, on with the video. Hi, welcome to 151 Garage. I'm Jill. I'm Jill's cameraman that's not holding the camera. <laughs> he doesn't have a name. Sean. Sorry, Sean. She doesn't remember, so she won't say it. Sean. Well, I just told you. Oh, yeah. Anyways, so we have news for the Black Diamond that we have on order. Now, we had a video out a couple, I think it was last week or the week before, about an email they sent us. They sent us an email saying that they were going to try to get our vehicle out by March 31st. Well, we got confirmation that it was built on april fool's day yeah legit. that's a really cruel joke if it is a it is a uh, april fool's ford by the way and the email reads as follows it's windy today <laughs> <laughs> forgive me as i fight with this paper it says dear sean great news your 2021 bronco black diamond four-door has been built we are performing some final inspections on your vehicle and getting it ready for shipment. Our current estimated date for delivery to your dealership is between April 17th to April 23rd. Undoubtedly, this is an exciting moment for you. We invite you to access a copy of your window label and check the status of your vehicle at any time by clicking the button below. Also, we wanted to include your vehicle identification number for your reference. So there's two things about this, this email that I've noticed. One, it's the first time in this entire thing they've actually said my name. Now, granted, I did blank out the back part of the name, but they did say my full name. And I'm like, at first I'm like, the hell is this? That's the first time yeah, I've been called they, uh, do what, like dear Bronco, Bronco customer, yeah. Bron future Bronco customer, Bronco owner, something like that. Yeah. And also they gave me the VIN number. Now. Ironically, I had the VIN number for the last, for a while. For I mean, like I've had it for like four months. Four months so <laughs> they gave me the, they finally gave me the VIN number. I already had that, so it really didn't matter. Uh, also, they gave me a date of April 17th through the April 23rd. 23rd. Now, if you look on the pizza tracker that they give you, it's actually a April 16th to the April 22nd. So which one's right, which one's wrong? Who cares? As long as I get it within that time frame, it would be kind of cool. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't get lost like her vehicle does and is sitting a yeah in a shipping container for like 45, 45 days. days. And nobody knows what the hell it was there for. Yeah. So right now, we have a few things that we we were uh, talking about and that we want to discuss with you guys. So first off, our vehicle is built well, started production on December sixth. 2021 and it just finished building april 1st 2022 now obviously i was waiting a chip yeah one is do you guys still have a vehicle there did you guys get a letter such as this saying when your vehicle was built yeah. that it's built and when it's shipped to you or when it's going to be shipped to you second we did a video a while ago about them wanting to do uh send vehicles to you that don't have chips don't have chips uh with stuff missing like heated seats or heated steering wheel or you know basic amenities you know like add-on auto and, start stop please let me not have that i don't have to pay a hundred dollars to eliminate non-safety related yeah. amenities that you can do without like the extra options no i don't know if they tell you you're gonna be missing something because they didn't say anything in this one. Ours isn't a fully loaded vehicle like hers, no. or sorry, mine isn't a fully loaded vehicle like hers. Mine is a 
Black diamonds. 2.7. That's it. Uh, with Marine automatic. Marine grade vinyl, and that's it. Yeah, there's, there's, it's a stock. We ready? Just, huh? Oh, we didn't even put a Sasquatch on it, did no, we? No, it's no Sasquatch, no toe, no leather, no, oh, yeah, no coffee we did. maker, no nothing. <laughs> no it's it's just a basic black diamond with a 2.7 in auto. Now, That's the it. reason why we did this, because we, we've we had some comments, and we're going to address those real quick, um, of us having three Broncos. The first one was on order that we got was the Badlands, obviously, the fully loaded one. Well, because there was six out of seven constraints on it, we decided, well, let's go ahead and see if we can get one sooner, and that's where the Black Diamond came in. That would be the one that I wanted. The only so. constraint that the, yeah, it's a, uh, Black Diamond had was a 2.7 liter. That's it. So we were thinking, oh, we'll get this one really quick. Didn't happen, obviously. And we got the Bronco Sport, and then sometime later we just decided to just look and see if we can find a Bronco, and we found this. Actually, so. I'll correct her on that because we were going to go look at a Badlands um, mannequin, like a oh, loaner, yeah. like a test driver. So we were going to go look at it. It was a, the only thing different about that one than yours was it was a soft top and it didn't have the leather interior but it had everything else so we were wanting to go trying to test drive it and see uh if we liked it you know kind of give us the spark back that we wanted the vehicle again yeah and that's when we saw this one this is the only one i've seen on the lot and we didn't go searching every day for one so no. we just ran up on this looking at another one we saw this one the guy who ordered this one Forgot to change some of the stuff on the inside, as we call it, the generic Big Bend, because default. this is your starting point, your default Big Bend. Uh, this is your starting point at your building price. Uh, everything about it, even the color. Yep. So he forgot to change anything, or the the dealership forgot to change stuff for him. So that's where this one came in. We took it because I like the stick. I think it was a nice vehicle to have. We test drove it. We immediately said, yeah, let's take it. And then shortly after we got her two vehicles. Now, or her vehicle uh, saying that they were gonna build it along with mine. Obviously hers came a little bit before mine, though yeah. they were built a week apart. I mean, yeah. actually not even a week apart, it was three days. Yours was yeah. built on the December 3rd, mine was built on December 6th. So three days apart and here we are like two months later. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we, uh, we ended up driving this, working on this, fixing up this one. This is Diesel's Bronco. So yes, our dog has his own Bronco. This is his Bronco. We keep him in it. He goes for a ride. He immediately goes to this one. So we dubbed this one his, yes. uh, the dog's Bronco. Now, are we going to get rid of any of them? No. And yeah. un unfortunately, it does suck that people are still waiting. And I have, you know, it's, I feel bad. I'm not going to yeah. apologize because I have three. I ordered them. Long Wait, time two. ago. Yeah. Yeah, I ordered two long time ago. I just ran across this one. If I didn't run across this one, we'd still be waiting on mine and only have hers. And then we wouldn't have the Austin Bronco content out there, you know? Yeah. We are gonna we are gonna do a lot of comparisons between the three models because we do have three different interiors. Your basic Bronco with rims and tires is all the big bend is. So if you're gonna change out the rims and tires, just go get the base bronco. There's really nothing else. Yeah. Change from this versus the base Bronco. Uh, the Black Diamond, which is a mid midway type vehicle, and yeah. then obviously the Badlands. Yeah. The Black Diamond is kind of neat because it's a midway between your base Bronco and your top Bronco. It's kind of a middle point. And that's what I wanted because I do want to do a lot of customization to it, interior and in, uh, exterior, stereo, suspension, everything. I mean, it's going to be, we're going to gut and that a lot more than we do this one. And it's gonna give us something really, unless you're a dealership or you're like us and you have multiple vehicles, but we're gonna have the edge of being able to compare all three interiors, cloth, yeah. marine grade, and leather. Yeah. And we'll we'll give you our God's honest, honest opinion. truth. God's honest truth. Uh, if it sucks, we'll tell you. If we love it, we'll tell you. I'll tell you which one's better for the money. Yeah. Uh, definitely. So far, 
you'll have to wait because I, I actually have a feeling I'm gonna like one of them a lot better than the other two and you might be surprised at what that is yeah anyways um, you know like I said it, it's I hope the people who've actually got these Broncos re uh, reserved along with her long, long time ago, day one, day two, the fir first week reservations, I know you guys have been waiting for this yeah. thing forever. And, and I, hope, <laughs> I hope to God you guys get them soon because it is, it is unfortunate that a lot of people are still waiting for them. Yeah. I have no idea how they pick them. Yeah, I don't. really don't. It's, it's, it's maybe stick, some maybe. guy in a room blindfolded throwing oh, darts know. at a darts at a wall with a bunch of numbers on it because it sure as hell doesn't make any sense that broncos that she gets or broncos like hers gets delivered months or a year before hers gets built and it's the same thing minus the color even though they have a uh a lot higher time stamp as they call it i know how they do it i think they do the little pull around the bat thingy and then they do the, the dart. No, I actually think what they do is they throw a bunch of shit in the back of a fan and whatever f shit hits the wall, those are the numbers they pick. That's the <laughs> only way to do it. Because there is no rhyme or reason to how they pick them. I really don't. I really don't. Here's all our customer names. Let's shoot yeah. them through the fan. <laughs> hey, guess what? Sean and Jill get their Bronco today. Yay! And the guy who just or the guy who just ordered the Bronco yesterday, get it. And Sean and Jill, sorry, shit didn't hit your sticker, so you're not getting it. I don't know, I really don't. I would love to hear how they pick it, because it sure as hell isn't by constraints. Yeah, if anybody knows, please. <laughs> it's please not by timestamp, it's not by timestamp. It's just random, <laughs> random shit show, basically. Literally. It seems like that's what, that's what this whole thing is. But again, uh, good luck for all those who don't have your vehicles yet. For all those people who are getting theirs, yeah, Yay! getting theirs. Congratulations! Hopefully, the guys who ordered them first get them sooner than the guys who ordered them later. Unfortunately, those guys have been waiting. I know some people have waiting more than 600 days, and that's ridiculous. Yeah, it is. It's ridiculous. A lot uh, of people this isn't a supercar. This isn't a hypercar. This is a Bronco. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people would have given up by now, and there actually have been reports yeah. of people canceling their orders. So yeah, there's a lot of people. Just hang in there, guys. Yep. You know, you'll find one hopefully without a markup. Uh, well, it's going to be marked up. I just hope you find one that's not substantially marked up, like 30000 yeah. over sticker. Some some Same. people aren't marking them up. Some people are. Hope you find a good dealer. There are a lot of dealers out there who are marking them up. Considerable amount. as ridiculous. Uh, we were lucky enough to find this one early before yeah. the markup started and our other two we have the paperwork sign saying they wouldn't mark it up so they're actually honoring that which yep. i appreciate it and i'll definitely be buying more vehicles from them hopefully not broncos we <laughs> have enough uh we have enough right four and enough three big ones and one sport because it is a bronco mm. maybe a maverick we actually saw them coming down here to shoot this today, and they're we not too bad. Them. They're about the same size as their Honda Ridgeline. I have not seen one in person standing still, so I can actually see it. I've only saw one on the road. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll find one. We'll take a look at it. Not that we're going to buy one. Four vehicles this year is no, good enough. No, we're good on buying vehicles, but we, we have a hobby of going to dealership and just looking at cars and taking bad things. Bad hobby. Yeah. I didn't say it was a really hobby. bad hobby. But we also do a lot of test drives in those vehicles as well. This is. We need to test drive the Lotus, the Lotus X Siege and Elise again. No, we never test drove one. No, we never did. But I know did, it was a bad. Home with one. It was a, yeah. He offered, but I I told him no because it would have been a bad, bad thing for me to do. But it, anyways, we'll explain on that one in a different video because. It, it would be a very bad thing. By bad, I mean in a good way. We love Lotus, uh, Exige, at least. We do, we are looking at a- That's actually my dream car, Amira, I love it. A Lotus Amira, mm -hmm. we're looking at that as well. Um, we have we have our oh, the name- Oh, the Avora too, I think, wasn't it? Huh? The Avora too, wasn't it? No, oh. the, the Amira, the new yeah. one coming out. Uh, we'll get into that later on when it gets closer. Uh, yeah, we we really have too many vehicles, uh, but you know we love them all. 
that's our thing is we love vehicles while other people love other things, you know, boats and shit. Yep. So anyways, uh, hopefully the wind isn't too noisy. We were trying to block some of it, but anyways, uh, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell and stay tuned on, make sure you turn on your notifications and just please subscribe. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we can do this giveaway. We're going to do more than just this giveaway. We're going to do a lot more giveaways. Uh, whatever I can do to help her channel grow. This is her channel. I'm working considerable amount of hours so she doesn't have to and she just focuses this is on my job, YouTube. So <laughs> all you have to do is subscribe, like and you know, leave a comment. Hit one I have playlist to work, and put it on loop. I have to work twelve hours a day, six days a week. But I'll do what I can for her to help her out. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Anyways, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Hope to see you next video. Bye. Bye. Nice car. Oh, nice. That's a oh, that's an old Mustang. I think it looks like it. Sorry, shiny object. Sidetracked. Sorry. Any old Mustang, 60s and 70s Mustangs we love. <laughs>